Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla violated labor laws because it required employees to wear company uniform. Tesla Model S Plaid dismantles previous EV hot lap record by nearly 5 seconds. Tesla is focused on FSD-wide release by end of 2022, says Elon Musk. And, hundreds of structural battery packs spotted in Tesla Giga Texas, possibly in-house produced. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla reportedly did not allow employees to wear pro-union clothing, the National Labor Relations Board NLRB said, ruling the automaker broke labor laws. Tesla, in reality, required production workers to wear the company uniform, which is suggested for safety and quality control reasons. Tesla has long held a stance that it operates more beneficially to its employees in a non-labor setting, and while CEO Elon Musk has been openly critical of unions, he has encouraged union groups to hold a vote at company facilities. No labor group has ever accepted this offer. However, Tesla is now reportedly in hot water with the NLRB, as it violated labor laws by not allowing company employees to wear pro-union shirts, Bloomberg is reporting. Chairman Lauren McFerrin said that after a 3 by 2 ruling by the agency, Tesla is officially in violation of labor rules, which encourages the critical form of protected communication. The three voters in the NLRB said, that Tesla's encouragement of employees to wear the company uniform violated the 1935 National Labor Relations Act. Tesla argued that its dress code was meant to keep clothing from damaging cars during the production process. Tesla maintained that employees were free to display union insignia while working. In 2018, Tesla employees testified that managers told employees that they could not wear shirts supporting the UAW, other employees wore various t-shirts, including sports team apparel, without being spoken to. The ruling in the case by the NLRB will require Tesla to change its policy to allow any employee to wear a union shirt as long as it is black, like other Tesla employee apparel. Republican members of the NLRB said, the decision effectively declares illegitimate any employer uniform policy or dress code that prohibits employees from substituting union apparel for required clothing. Moving to the next update, Tesla Model S Plaid dismantles previous EV hot lap record by nearly 5 seconds. A Tesla Model S Plaid driven by professional electric vehicle driver Blake Fuller, recently dismantled the previous EV hot lap record at Sebring Raceway in Highlands County, Florida, which was not close. The all-electric Model S Plaid broke the record by nearly 5 seconds in one of the craziest time trial laps we've ever seen. The Model S Plaid in the video is the same vehicle that competed in the 100th International Hill Climb at Pikes Peak International, just two months ago on June 26. That car was also driven by Fuller, who holds two records in Pikes Peak and both EV records at another Hill Climb event held at MT Washington in Gorham, New Hampshire. Now, the Tesla Model S Plaid, without any of the bells and whistles that come with high-performance EV track racing, is already a work of art regarding speed and acceleration. The Model S Plaid was brought up by Tesla to basically give nobody else a chance at even coming close, especially in terms of non-hypercar categories. While some cars have come along with the reputation as the next big thing, the Plaid is still here and running amok amongst its competitors. Running a stock powertrain with carbon ceramic front brakes and wheels from unplugged performance, the Model S Plaid took on the 3.741-mile Sebring Raceway in Florida. It easily took over the title as the fastest EV to ever grace the track. The previous record was set at 2 minutes and 24.906 seconds, and the Model S Plaid had no issues breaking that with a time of 2 minutes and 19.999 seconds, narrowly avoiding the 2.20 lap time. For clarification, however, this is not the fastest lap ever run at Sebring unfortunately. That was run in 2019 at the 1000 miles of Sebring event, when Kamui Kobayashi ran a Toyota TS050 hybrid to the lightning fast lap time of 1 minute and 41.800 seconds. The Model S Plaid still remains Tesla's flagship sedan, 
And while it may not be the company's most popular or most affordable vehicle, it continues to dismantle some of the most high-powered performance vehicles in the EV space from the record books, practically rewriting history, by etching its name in several prestigious track trophy cases. Moving to the next update, Tesla is focused on FSD-wide release by end of 2022, says Elon Musk. During his talk at the 2022 Offshore Northern Shore ONS conference in Stavanger, Norway, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk covered a variety of topics, from Tesla's FSD-wide release to renewable energy. According to Musk, his attention today is currently focused on two main things, SpaceX's Starship program and Tesla's full self-driving technology. Starship is designed to be a rapidly reusable spacecraft that can pave the way to Mars missions, while FSD is Tesla's autonomous driving system, which is expected to save countless lives on the road. The two technologies I am focused on, trying to ideally get done before the end of the year, are getting our Starship into orbit, and then having Tesla cars to be able to do self-driving," Musk said. Musk then provided a quick update on an FSD-wide release in the United States and other territories. According to the CEO, depending on regulatory approval, he is aiming to get FSD ready by the end of the year, according to a Reuters report. This is an ambitious goal, and one that Musk had already failed at several times in the past. Tesla's FSD-wide release has proven elusive for years, though Musk has maintained his optimism about the technology. Tesla's FSD beta program has so far been successful, however, which bodes for the technology as a whole. Tesla's FSD beta fleet now numbers about 100,000 drivers, and so far, the system has been testing on public roads without any issues. This is despite aggressive Tesla critics looking for the smallest chance to get FSD taken off the roads. A notable sign of Tesla's increasing confidence in FSD lies in the company's cease and desist letter to Dan O'Dowd of Green Hill Software and the Dawn Project. O'Dowd has targeted Tesla and its FSD program in an aggressive campaign, claiming that the technology is a danger to people. While Tesla typically does not fight back against attacks such as these, the company has initiated efforts to stop O'Dowd's anti-FSD campaign. In its cease and desist letter, Tesla highlighted that O'Dowd's defamatory actions are actually putting consumers at risk. Moving to the last update, hundreds of structural battery packs spotted in Tesla Giga Texas, possibly in-house produced. Tesla looks like it is preparing to ramp up production of the new Model Y all-wheel drive, with 4680 cells soon, as the third floor of Giga Texas is currently filled with hundreds of structural battery packs, waiting to be installed into new cars. During an early morning drone flyover by Joe Tetmeyer, he spotted hundreds of the structural battery packs on the third floor of the factory. Many of the packs are sitting in crates, with the letters YSB painted on the side, confirming these are indeed Model Y structural battery packs. If that wasn't enough, the packs also very clearly have the seat risers mounted directly to the pack, an innovation previously showcased by Tesla during the Giga Berlin County Fair and Giga Texas Cyber Rodeo, and later revealed in detail, during a teardown by Monroe and Associates. The big question is whether these packs were put together in Giga Texas, or shipped in from another location, such as Tesla's Cato Road facility in California. During the company's Q2 2022 earnings call, Senior Vice President of Powertrain and Energy Engineering, Drew Baglino explained that the 4680 cell production equipment had been installed and commissioned at Giga Texas, and that they were hoping to officially begin 4680 production in Q3. As we have seen in previous drone flyover, that equipment was also installed on the third floor. Given we are nearing the end of August, the second month of Q3, it is very possible that these packs are filled with cells produced at Giga Texas. However, it is difficult to explain why they would be sitting in shipping crates if they were indeed produced at Giga Texas. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.